Hello and welcome to the My First Mixed Reality Shoot panel debate, coming to you from Ari's new Mixed Reality stage. See, we're using cameras that we don't usually use. You know, the pictures from these cameras are you know, fantastic and, 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 and lovely to, to see. The learning curve for us as well, we have a bit of new kit. Um, you know, using a master grip was a new thing for me. It just feels really perfect in your hand, it feels great. The, the menu systems um, on the control panel are uh, very user friendly, the, the, the language is good and uh, the, the way the menus are set up is it's very, very logical. It's been talked about before, the fact that we're bringing film cameras into a broadcast environment. So that's a really exciting opportunity for camera operators. The interfaces between the cameras are directly involved this time. They don't have to have all kinds of adapters and basically workarounds to get iris control. Because there's a lot of demand for it as well, and you're seeing that, especially over the past 18 months with the live streaming stuff, these have been in demand now because people want that for the pre-records streams. They want that cinematic look. They don't want that TV look. and. This is perfect to go into that point. Well, the, the great thing about the, the, the 360 is, is obviously that it will go all the way around. Um, so that gives me enormous flexibility for bit turning around. I don't have to worry about it winding itself up on the cable. Having the freedom to be able to rotate unlimited rotations with the, with the slip ring that's available. You know, we can move anywhere in the stage and shoot at uh, any angle without getting ourselves tied up. So that's fantastic. I think it really truly demonstrated the freedom that you get from a completely remote dolly system like the Ajiso paired up with the, with the Arri head. Um, no cables, so it meant we could go absolutely anywhere within the stage. And um, yeah, it was great to be able to sort of show that off and prove it. Today, uh, working on the stage, we had three uh, people contributing remotely and from other parts of the world. It's very hard uh, to get a, a group shot that looks nice in this environment, you know, particularly when we were working with the two metre distancing, and I'm certainly not the only director who's had that problem over the last uh, year or so. Normally when I'm working with a jib, uh, I have an awful lot of concerns about it crossing through light, key light and fill light. When we're working on the screen, I didn't notice it cast a shadow at all, all day, which was a real benefit. Everybody wants to go for a visual experience, and the, the more impactful that can be within that environment will just be, will just, it takes it to another level. So to be part of that is a really you know, exciting prospect. 